Hey guys, welcome to BSL Season 12, Round of 8. This is going to be Sabbath versus Grast. Had a little bit of a lisp there for a second. Bottom right-hand corner, we have Sabbath starting as the pink turn. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Grast starting as the yellow Protoss. This is on Shakuras Temple, I believe. I keep calling it Shakuras Plateau, because apparently my brain wants to go back to 2010 StarCraft 2 for some reason. I think it's just the Shakuras my brain auto-corrects for... I don't know. I hear Shakuras, it wants to go to Plateau. Uh, I've done that several commentaries already, thanks to meat to bread ratio for saying, hey, I don't, don't see that map out there. Are you making a mistake? Yeah, I'm making a mistake right there. Anyway, this is going to be the only match played between these two because I have a bit of a comment out there that, or I should say there was a note on these matches. One of these players, whoever won this match advances and whoever ended up losing this match had computer issues. So this is basically to see who is the last person to go to the round of four. Otherwise, Rancor's there, Exit's there, and Dentarg had a walk over Arthur. So Dentarg actually, I'm going to say it, who's my favorite to win this? Those are four. Uh, whoever wins this, I think, will be a tough competitor. I'm actually favoring Grast, maybe, to win this match. Grast is a very strong Protoss player. Sabbath had some pretty good timing attacks, but I feel like at this stage of Chobo League, just being aggressive with early gate op or early gate, early factory openers isn't going to cut it. I feel like Grast is going to be skilled enough, the other players are going to be skilled enough to kind of position around that and not falter when it comes to kind of those positional moves. It looks like we are seeing... Oh, Gas Steel! That does not work out well for Sabbath. He wasn't in position to go ahead and grab that gas, wasn't able to block out that probe scout, and he's still not scouting, actually, behind this. No Vesping Geyser just yet for Grass on the opposite side, so it is possible with this Gas Steel, he is going to build some Zealots and push forward into this space. This isn't a forward gateway, mind you. Let's see if he does. Yeah, it's going to go for that Zealot first. Oftentimes, what can happen in this sort of build... Ooh, and up! Wow, Grass just pulling out all the stops. Might lose his probe for this. We'll see. A little bit blockaded in. Looks like these STVs are starting to attack that pylon. This is a matter pylon. Delaying minerals and delaying everything else. And what that is going to allow is potentially the Zealot, two Zealots queued now, to make their way forward and delay a factory for quite a bit of time. And then you can turn around, essentially get Dragoons out before the Terran opponent is prepared. Let's see if that's what happens to Sabbath overall. One thing that Terran tend to do to counter this is go ahead and plop down an early bunker. Actually, there was a recent ASL match. I finally was able to catch on the ASL Season 11 matches where I think it was Light faced this exact sort of thing. If you're wondering how to counter this, go ahead and check out what he did. It was fan a fantastic recovery and had a, a couple antics to get involved in it. It looks like that probe has already stole, uh, stolen a little bit of minerals. It's going to peel out. Sabbath did a cross positional scout, found nothing. He's actually a little bit delayed on that scouting otherwise, and the first salt is making its way, and there is a Marine, two Marines at the forward position. Usually three Marines can fight this off, but with the Zelt and the Probe, this is going to be a challenge. They do have this gap where they can sneak back and forth. Grast losing this pylon, this manor pylon, that is going to put him in the red briefly. Does he have another pylon warping into the main? I don't see it. So he's going to be a little bit delayed on what he can produce after this. That's going to be... At least three Marines out, a fourth Marine on the way. That refinery is going to get up. A second Zealot is on the way. Zealot taking out one Marine thus far, and there's still no factory being built yet for Sabbath. He's just now starting to mine gas. Grass still in the red, mind you. Still needs to get another pylon out before we can provide some additional support. So that is going to delay a potential Dragoon that might have been in here. And it looks like the Zealot trying to get in that SCV line, moving out. Second Zealot dying. Sorry, first Zealot dying just as the second Zealot's in. These Marines look like they're in their fifth Marine being produced. Looks like they are going to be able to box this Zealot out. And so Grast retreating and Sabbath going ahead and getting that factory down. Looks like range is upgrading. The Dragoon is about halfway finished. And so where they're in a Citadel of a Dune, very rapid Citadel of a Dune, perhaps, and going for a second gateway. So this looks like it is going to be DTs all the way. So Grast hoping that he's done enough economic damage and is more or less force Sabbath potentially into a frustrating situation where he's going to skip detection. This is two factories. This, he is continuing to pump Marines. So it looks like he does want to go for a two factory with, and with the Marines he has down on the ground, some, some sort of bust against Grast. Grass has a Citadel of a Dune just warping in. He's going to be able to get that Templar Archives down pretty rapidly. And SCV is making its way this direction and there's no Dragoon to blockade it. So Sabbath should be able to scout this. Should be able to scout this. So there's the Templar Archives in the back corner. Sabbath sneaking around, sees the Cybernetics Core. I'm going to switch views right here because he doesn't see it yet. This is all the scouting information he has. This is going to be huge. Is he going to be able... Okay, now he scouts it. 
But is he going to have enough to, to recover and turn around? So maybe what he wants to do here is go ahead and grab an engineering bay. He's actually grabbed two machine shops. It's possible he'll want to just... He wants to try to just fight this with vultures and mines, which isn't a terrible scenario. Dragoon trying to poke away, getting a very aggressive, trying to poke away at these marines and just use the superior range to get a couple free marine kills. That's six marines, and they are taking a lot of damage. That bunker being built, one marine down already. The SCV, sorry, never mind. It's attacking the bunker wholesale, so now just sitting back to do that damage. What Sabbath probably wants to do is go ahead and get his detection up, sit back, and play from there, but he is researching mines to follow this up. So he's going to go with a, a vulture attack. So still wanting to sit with the aggression. He does have a missile turret up to go ahead and deal with any DTs that were making its way towards that natural expansion and grasped going ahead and grabbing his natural as well behind this. So interestingly enough, so no DTs being produced here. So Grass realizing th that opportunity was gone. A vulture managing to slip through that front. And a siege tank is there, does not have siege tech. So Sabbath, a little bit delayed on his natural expansion. Grast actually maybe wants to sneak another. I think this SCV, this SCV, that probe is moving out to go ahead and sneak an expansion of his own. Grass returning to home base, wants to go ahead and plug his front door with, I hope, these Dragoons and that Zealot to prevent additional vultures from being able to do extra sneaky action here. Grass is floating 400 minerals where he could plop a sneaky nexus to follow this up. He's grabbing a robotics facility, which is about halfway finished. But Sabbath delaying a little bit on grabbing that natural expansion. A couple Dragoons, and I take it back, the Dragoons moving back out now that the Vultures have mines and speed. No mines planted just yet, unless I missed it. There's that first mine being planted and the second mine being planted to provide a little bit of map control. Now some DTs being produced. And Grass holding up while that robotics facility finishes. He canceled, I think that was a fourth gateway that he canceled. Third gateway along the way, and Sabbath just getting his command center up. With a Vulture going ahead and checking out some natural expansions and just now getting Siege Tech. So Grast didn't plop down a bunch of gateways where he'd really be able to press into this. He has a, a modicum, a little bit of map control with these Dark Templar. It's potentially he's going to go shuttle first, or yeah, he is getting shuttle first. So that going about, and so he's going to go for a DT drop out into Sabbath's main and just rely on the fact that he, he only has this turret on his natural expansion, he doesn't have a lot of coverage otherwise. This engineering bay is floating across the 6 o'clock location from Sabbath. He does have a vulture patrolling there to potentially see that coming along the way. And I like what Sabbath is doing, trying to stay one step ahead of Grast and going ahead and planting mines at that 9 o'clock location to more or less see if he's going to go for that quick third to try to play the long-term macro game or if he's going to go for something more aggressive here in the mid game. Grass is kind of playing it both directions. He's hoping to get a lot of damage here with this shuttle, which I believe is now loaded up while four Dark Templar making the way of this direction. This is not a lot of ground forces here from Sabbath, though, with these factories. He's only got the single siege tank. Most of his vultures are still out in the field. And this vulture is highly damaged, so he does see this coming. Does he react? And what does he react with is the next question. Looks like some the two siege tanks and vultures are making their way this direction. The Dark Templar dropping down. There is just now a turret being produced. It is potentially a threat. Let's see if the Dark Templar get on top of it rapidly. A, a siege tank is there. This Dark Templar working on that turret. Is it going to finish in time? It does not finish in time. That's four Dark Templar in the main. That's GG from Sabbath. So Sabbath... Ends up falling to the Dark Templar drop. A lot of action in this game, back and forth. So, Grass taking a bit of a risk with that investment, dropping those Dark Templar, but it pays off big, wins him the match, and also, because I have heard there were computer issues, Sabbath had some sort of issue with his computer, so this was basically the only set that could be played, and as a result, Grass advances to the round of four. So in the round of four, we've got Rancor, Exit, Dentarg, who got the walkover, Arthur, and uh, Grast. Uh, Sabbath also, aka Turret. So we're going to move on to the round of four. I'll do one game from there for the Twitch audience, and then we'll move on to N18 Battles. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.